Woody Young, obviously, they're, they're, uh, they are the uh, creme de la creme. They're well coached. Corey does a wonderful job over there. Um, uh, we feel that we have uh, speed. Trinity is a lot smaller than us, um, and they shoot the three really, really well. Um, they like to drive and kick, which is different. Um, it'll, it'll be a contrasting style. I believe it's going to be our speed versus their size. I really believe that's what's going to come down to, uh, that's what's gonna, the game going to come down to. Our bigs are going to have to guard people who are pretty, pretty small, or about 5'9", 5'10", and we're going to try to play with our bigs on the court. And if we can't, we'll just go small and match up with them. I think Whitney Young uh, also knows that Trinity's not going to back down to them. I think a lot of times with their name and their or uh, teams you know, get intimidated by playing against Young, and at least they'll know that Trinity's going to give them as, as much as we can give them. And I think, that's a, I think that's a great thing on both sides. Welcome to River Forest, everybody, for the CN100 Game of the Week today. It is a girls' top 10 basketball matchup as Whitney Young gets set to take on Trinity. Hello everybody, I'm Jim Blaney along with Kenny McReynolds and two of the best teams in girls basketball in the state of Illinois on our lineup tonight. Kenny, let's first talk about the Whitney Young Dolphins. Same story as every year. Yep. One of the best teams in the state this year, they are number one. Yeah, Jim, they're ranked number one. Curry Irvin has done another outstanding job with the Whitney Young Dolphins team. She lost a lot last year, but they seem to keep coming back and back and back. They're number one. The Trinity Blazers are ranked number 10 in the Chicagoland area. They have two losses on the season, but they came in the Montini tournament over Christmas, which is one of the best girls tournament anywhere in the country. Yeah, and you know what? If you're going to lose, you can lose in the Montini tournament because you're going to learn things from those losses. Remember, this team does not have a lot of height, Jim, but they're small, but they're quick. Prochaska drives clean block by Kiki Lewis. Here come the Dolphins on the run. And that's knocked in on a beautiful drive by Finesse Dixon. But watch this block right here. Come over. Boy, what a nice, clean block by Lewis. Then watch all the way, Jim. She doesn't stop. Goes right around. What a great, great play. Got it to Prochaska. Long pass to McKenna. She wasn't open. She feeds the post. Sakura. Oh, what a nice pass. Nice bounce pass. Elward with the finish. But watch the way they move the basketball. Watch the bounce pass. Right, right around Hillsman. Streaking towards the basket. The nice, easy layup with the two points. Trying to run across the top of the screeners. Gave it to Tanita Allen. Open is Muhammad for three. That one no good. Hillsman with a rebound. Goes up with it. Whitney Young out in front by a point. You notice that time she jumped. She went up aggressively with two hands to get that offensive board. Remember, Prochaska is on the floor with four fouls. Two and a half left. McKenna drives and hits. But watch McKenna, that move by McKenna. McKenna's been fearless driving to the basket. She just goes right around Hillsman and Dixon. Lewis can't get it. Rebound by Prochaska. What a great box out. Prochaska up the floor, driving on Lewis. Stutter step, lost to defender. And one of the best players in the state gives Trinity a four-point lead with 37 seconds left. Boy, what a, what a nice little stutter step. A little stutter step right there. And then it crossed over to the left hand, bring it back to the right. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.